Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. This is Princess Africana and welcome to my YouTube video. Please like and subscribe and enjoy this video. This is going to be all about the Zim starter pack and the Zim version. So I uh, do hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much. Guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be discussing about the Zimbabwe starter pack. And it's again, man, this is what I'm saying is Zimbabwe. Zim, you know, you know. So we're going to get right straight into the video, but then again, I just need to say, guys, I'm going to try to make this video as short as I can because I did have a lot of people saying the other one was too long. As you already know, I'm still new and I'm still trying to process and understand everything. So I'm going to try and keep this one as snappy as I can. So we're going to start off with Zimbabwe and Visa. So you can get Visa in Zimbabwe at the port of entry for $50. Yes, $50. So you can do it at the port of entry. And then the transport that Zim has is Combi. So we use Combi, same as Trotro style. You know, when you get in the Trotro, you get in the Combi. Same thing, and we have taxis and all the rest. Yes, yeah, so food, obviously the local dish in Zimbabwe is Sadza. Sadza is like cornmeal, maize meal, um, that is like churned, and then you use your hand to eat it. I'll put a picture up there for you guys to see what I'm talking about. And obviously, there are so many restaurants you can visit. As I'm looking at my book again, um, you can go to Chicken Inn, Creamy Inn, Pizza Inn. Oh my God, guys, you have to go to eat pizza in Zim. Are you really in Zim if you don't try the pizza? You have to try the pizza. And there's also Eat and Lick. And we have Boreos, Mabruvos, Biltong. Mabruvos is basically our own local sausages that taste so nice. And you can also try Biltong. Oh my god, that's that dried meat. It's so pain, guys. You need to try that. And then I'm going to talk about the places you need to go, guys. There are so many places you should go in Zimbabwe. It's in Victoria Falls and the bungee jumping, which I'll never do because I'm scared of heights. And so bungee jumping is a no, okay? It's a no. You can also visit the Kariba Dam, um, Mashingo Ruins, which is Great Zimbabwe, where they have some nice like mountains and architecture and all the rest. You know, you guys need to see that. Um, also, Green Mountain. You guys have to visit Green Mountain because Green Mountain is amazing. It's the view, the scenery. You must check it out on my video, um, my YouTube video of vlogging in Zimbabwe you should see it there it's just so beautiful you should go there it's so nice and then guys you also got safari zimbabwe is very rich in safari we got lots of safari lots of animals and everything and yeah anyway the dressing so you have to bear in mind how short your shorts are how how high your bum's hanging and all that stuff you just have to be careful you don't want when you're working walking outside and then the aunties are like my way my way what is she wearing my god e, 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 e. what what kind of dressing is this what what are you my way my way we, we don't know what there so to avoid that guys you know just kind of dress decent like dress decent okay i told you and for the weather guys the weather so we have hot and cold zimbabwe has some kind of crazy weather it can get so cold to the point where it did actually snow in zimbabwe if i do find the picture i'm going to put it up there for you guys to see that it did actually snow in zimbabwe it's like south africa you wake up in the morning on a kind of a warm summer's day but then in the morning it's so cold like i'm sure you saw in my videos again how freezing we were and so cold so it can get really cold so in i'd say when you're going to bed try to dress up a bit you know warm. but if you get hot in the night it's fine in the morning it's quite chilly so you always need like a cardigan if you're setting off in the morning and during the day it can be so hot like as i'm speaking now it's summer and it's so hot like i'm hearing people saying it's too hot from zimbabwe and everything so you know you do your usual dress cool clothing and you know you can receive good fresh air and it's that lastly we're going to talk about the airlines mind you my airlines that we go to zimbabwe we do not have a direct flight okay so you would have to take some airlines that do transit for example i took emirates so that's one of the carriers you can take 
and you can also take Rwanda Air, which stops over in Rwanda. Um, you can Rwanda in Kigali, so I need to be specific, right? And also the easiest, I'd say, is South African Airlines because it goes via it goes via um, South Africa, Joburg. I think it's Joburg or Cape Town. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong or right. And then it goes back up to Zimbabwe. Yes, it's annoying. You go down. Down the end of Africa, you go back up to Zimbabwe. Is it really normal? But it's fine anyway. It's fine. As long as we are getting to our destinations. But yeah. And so guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. It's not too lengthy. I try to make it short as possible. And please like and subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Stay tuned because i got some good things lined up for you guys this weekend. So stay tuned. Okay? Okay? All my Zimbabwe's, Mufarejakanaka, meaning be happy, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope this was not too lengthy, guys. I tried to keep it short as simple. You feel me? Ready? What's that? What's this? Aha, so. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah, I want God. See me, I got at Pandem again, again, again. Sexy girl, I gotta know. You got a bad body, body girl, put that body on them, on them, on them. You got a bad, bad body.